Jonathan Campbell Meekins was born in 1882 in Hamilton, Ontario. While little is known of his upbringing, his professional medical career as a brilliant investigator and innovative leader is well documented. He came to medical school uh, taking a boat in large part from Hamilton to Montreal. He then went on to postgraduate training in pathology and bacteriology, which was what many people did at that time. And he even went to Johns Hopkins Medical School, which was the most prestigious one of the time. For those days, I think it could be said that he was extremely well formed and clearly must have had some insight into the directions he wanted to go with respect to clinical skills and research. In 1914, Dr. Meekins joined the Army to serve during World War I, but was quickly called upon for medical research. Meekins was then seconded from the field hospital to a research team studying the effects and the treatment of gas warfare on the troops, but also studied what is now known as traumatic stress disorder and became an expert in that but quite quickly realized that physiology was going to be a key discipline uh, for the future of medicine. In 1919, Dr. Meekins was appointed the Christensen Professor of Therapeutics at University of Edinburgh. It was there because of his connections with uh, Canada and Banting and Best that he was the first to use insulin in the UK. And he developed many of the ways in which insulin would be used. Dr. Meekins was recruited back to McGill in 1924 to assume the titles of Professor of Medicine, Physician-in-Chief of the Royal Victoria Hospital, and Director of the McGill University Clinic. He developed a, a really a powerhouse of uh, clinical investigation, basic science, and a teaching operation. All the other Canadian universities in, in copied this model. Which has been continued to today and, it, and is a model for academic departments in terms of the delivery of uh, research, education and clinical skills. He was the first president of the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Canada. The contribution to the Royal College and its formation has had tremendous uh, implications for Canada his greatest achievement were the professors of medicine that left Montreal and went uh, elsewhere. Dr. Meekins also had a prolific publication record with well over 230 publications, including his renowned textbook, The Practice of Medicine, which he wrote in longhand in only three months. And it is the only full textbook of medicine that a Canadian has produced, and it went through six editions. He was president of the Canadian Medical Association, the Canadian Cancer Society, the American College of uh, Physicians, and the Canadian Mental Health Association. He would have been a master of the expression, if you want something done, go to a busy person, and, and it'll get done, because it gets done that day, because they're too busy to put it off till tomorrow. An outstanding teacher, a brilliant investigator, prolific writer, and innovative leader. Ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate, Dr. Jonathan Campbell Meekins.